Hi. This is a special night. This is the night that is <clears throat> season two of Pillow Talk USA. Come with me. Follow me to the comfort of the studio bedroom, the comfort of the, the pillows, the comfort of Tam, Pip, and Van. <sighs> well, guys, I honestly couldn't be more thrilled to be here with you and Tam and Pip for the start of another thrilling season. Uh, we just couldn't be happier to get this ball rolling. Let's get to it. Gonna close the door here. And um, as you can see, we're already uh, undressed. Van has a nice uh, blue. I'm wearing my baby blues. Baby blues. I felt that it was a good time, uh, time to rhyme. And baby blue is the time for the new season. That's right. And I'm in my uh, boxers. Just standard boxers, uh, no fancy colors. Very conservative choice. Yes. yes. You are the more conservative one. I would say so. I would say so. And I'm wearing a very special shirt. This is a um, shirt of uh, my brother who has a, um, he, he played with a club soccer team in high school. The club was founded in 1997 and they had a particularly good year. Van, can you hold this and show the yeah. back of my shirt? Yeah. They won 1999. Talent day. Talent day. Big year. All right, well, now I'm going to take this thing. Um, we are getting right under the covers, right into the pillows. Now, Pip is Pip also is getting, getting a little bit... Pip, Pip's I, getting a little spicy. Oh, okay, oh, oh, okay. Oh. I know, I know. Not the glasses. I know, buddy. Not the glasses. Okay, let's just get you down. Good boy. There you go. Okay. okay. I think we should put them down. Yeah. Anyway. So really quick, um, we have uh, some announcements to make. Now, obviously, the first announcement being that this is the highly anticipated season two premiere. Um, now, we, Tam and I, had two very productive production meetings. Productive, production, and uh, one of, there were a lot of disagreements, a lot of things, but we've made two or three, uh, depending on how you count them, very significant changes. Now, as you can already tell, something is a little bit different on your monitor screen in terms of the quality. Tam, walk us through how we're able to pull off, pull off this incredible new look. What you're looking through right now is a state-of-the-art mm -hmm. digital camera. Um, it is a, uh, a Canon, and it is, um, it's got a CMOS 5 sensor. Um, it retails for about 250 big buckers on Amazon. Um, if you have Prime, you get the free shipping. I yeah. recommend it. Uh, and um, we've got an SD card, and this thing is just state-of-the-art. It looks good. It has auto um, uh, face detection squares mm -hmm. around both of our faces. Oh, oh, and oh, try and get yeah, it. Yeah. Try to get it. Uh, you're, you're not getting it. You were getting I, it earlier, well, it's though. It's faded. It doesn't recognize me. Nearly. Well, there it is. There they it is. can't see what we see, though. It's going to look oh. weird. That's right. But I should say, uh, just to clarify, this is not... We are not being sponsored by Canon. We have nothing to do with them. Tam is just a fan of the products and was trying to point out a few different specifications that our new system system has. Yes, and, and, and we aren't... Um, <coughs> I, I did have to pay for it. They did yes. not give it to no. us for free. No. So we have nothing to prove I, I to them, nothing to sell to them. To them. Um, anyway, one more quick change that we did. Well, it's kind of a big one. Okay, we hear you. A lot of people are saying, we love the show, but it's so long. We don't think it is too long, but we're going to shorten the episodes to 20 minutes. The first five minutes of every episode will be like this, quick, announcements, and then you'll enter into the middle 10. The middle 10 is when we'll talk about all the, imp the main story of the day. If we have a guest, the guest will be in the middle 10. Then the final five will be summing things up, talking through things, and all of that jazz. Do you have any other announcements, Tam? Uh, maybe you'd want to introduce the theme of, of, of this show, which is uh, something about holidays. Well, there are two holidays surrounding this evening that were on mm. the pillows. Uh, one is happening tomorrow. As you all know, it's Thanksgiving. Um, but one happened yesterday. That's the sandwich part. The one that happened yesterday was Van's birthday. Van turned another year older don't, yesterday. Don't, don't, don't. Van is Just ageless. so you, everybody knows, we're now entering the middle ten. That's correct. Um, and um, <clears throat> so, um, in light of... Your birthday. Mm -hmm. 
I've been meaning to ask you some questions. Um, and uh, it's my special day. It's his special day. We're going to find out some deeper, some deeper secrets mm -hmm. um, from Dan, um, and some some parts of him will be revealed that you may not know about. You may know about it already. You may not know about it. Um, but this is the time. It's because it's it, it was Van's day yesterday. Mm -hmm. We're going to focus on Van today. And I couldn't be happier to focus on me. I love it. Okay, and with that, we will start the questions. Okay. The first question is... <clears throat> I have no idea. I think all your friends know that you like Star Wars in some capacity. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty well known. It's pretty w well known. Um, I'd like to ask you a question about Star Wars, and the question is pretty simple. It is, um, do you remember mm. where you were and what you were doing when you heard the news that mm. Disney bought the Star Wars franchise? <sighs> talking about this moment um, is like talking about something in your life where everything comes to a standstill. Um, maybe you're driving down the road, maybe you're heading home with another load, um, but no matter what you're doing, you remember where you are in that moment. This moment is like that to me. It's right up there. Um, first of all, to slight correction, uh, Disney did not buy Star Wars only. They bought Lucasfilm, uh, and one of Lucasfilm's properties happens to be Star Wars. Now, where I was in this moment, which is approximately three years ago, I was in San Francisco. I remember it so vividly. I was walking on the curb by the ferry building. It was fairly cold and breezy, and I was just walking along. I happened to look at my phone, and my phone was talking to me, and it said, all of these things are talking about the tweets about Star Wars. And I was like, why are people talking about those things? And I looked, and I was like, it's got to be a little bit of a ruse. I thought they had rused me because it was, it was just the most insane news. Okay, Disney buying Lucasfilm, I don't care about that. That was like weird. The news was, the big news was that got my heart fluttering and beating faster than it was is that they were making new movies. Because you have to remember at this... Did you feel that it was a closed chapter at that point? How, how often do you think about Star Wars before that announcement? During the years following ROTS, or Revenge of the Sith, as it's known among the pu common public... Is it shortened to ROTS? No. Um, shortly after that, we became, it was a dark period. All we had um, was the Clone Wars animated show, nothing else really to speak of. And George said, never any more Star Wars movies. It's the story of Anakin Skywalker. He's dead. He's born. He's gone. We're donezo, right? So everyone was accepting that. All of a sudden, we're getting new movies, new things. A lot of people are nervous, though. What is Disney going to do? Are they going to mess it up, all right? So listen up. This is where it gets really interesting. Um... So they were like, we're going to make all these new movies and also all these new um, comic books and, and books and video games and stuff. They're going to all tie in perfectly to uh, official canon. Is this getting boring? Not at all. Were there already video games and, and comics at that point? Excellent they question. Expand? They're excellent question. So as you know, Star Wars isn't just the movies. It's all this other stuff. But before Disney came in, it was a bunch of gobbledygook, if you know what I mean, if you catch my meaning. It was all just messy. What's a messy. gobbledygook? What's it was a, a gobbledygook. What's a gobbledygook? What, what You're is that? kind of a gobbledygook. Right now? All right now. Get a little bit. Yeah. Uh, oh, are we popping? I think I'm popping uh -oh. a little bit. Yeah. First I, pop of the season. We're nine minutes in and he's popping. Uh, I'd be popping. Uh, I'd be dare popping. I say? <laughs> Felt like a good pop. Whew. Just let me know when you need to do that again. Okay. Yes, there was all this gobbledygook, blah, 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 about everything, before, after, during. It didn't make sense. It, it carried over each other, little pockets here, kept pocking it up into there. It was a nasty scene. Disney came in, and they were like, mm, -mm all that sh stuff. I almost said, this is pee.
Yeah, that's true. I'm sorry. Um, so anyway, they said all of that stuff is now legends, we're going to call it. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Some legends are true, but mostly they're not. Pip. Hey, uh, okay. we're I know. talking about legends. We're talking I know, about we're talking about legends. You can't okay. hold Okay, baby. You I know. can't hang with I know. us. You hold on. Will you hold, just, let me just hold this really quick. Okay. Let's just try to. So. Anyway. So. Um, you got that? Yeah. So anyway, they were like, all that stuff is now legends. We're going to start official. From now on, everything is going to be official canon. It's all going to tie into each other. And that's how that's how it's going to be. And so it became a much more unified universe. And uh, and this little guy got way more excited about it again. And um, it's, it's going to be good. Because it meant that that there's going to be an expansion on on the knowledge exactly. of Star Wars. Exactly. Now this is things. now this is where I want to change subjects really quick to the to the new one that's coming out because I have a story, a personal story about it. Now, in seventh grade, little Vanny was uh, very into Star Wars, and he had a best friend named Mike Cook. He was his best friend. They talked about Star Wars all the time, but Van was also like kind of trying to be cool, and he was listening to the Ramones, and so he was torn between Star Wars and, and music. Anyway, he hung out with Mike all the time, and it was awesome. How and long would you hang out? We would hang out almost every day after school. We had we played Star Wars cards. We were making a movie called Galactic Goofballs, where we had action figures, and they were um, acting out Star Wars. We were just so into it. We knew it all. Um, and we, we watched all the movies together so many times. And then, you know, we fell apart. We grew apart after college or high school, and we didn't talk at all, you know, how it can go with people. So what was when was um, what grade was it that you were mm -hmm. in when you stopped talking to him? When I mean, we lost? always talked because we were in a small school, but mm -hmm. I would say that we stopped really hanging out that often um, in ninth grade. Okay, and then after mm -hmm. high school, mm -hmm. radio silence. Nothing. Pretty right? much, yeah. Apparent no occasion, nothing. Did you see him on Facebook? Don't really no. Don't know where he is. Mm -hmm. um, it was you know I'd think about him from time to time and think back to those memories, um, and there were so many memories. Uh-oh. Ten days ago. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Where's my phone? Doo -doo 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 -doo. I found it. I looked at it. Text message. Mike Cook. The Mike Cook. The Mike Cook. The one and only. So he says to me... What's he say? What's he say? I don't know. He says on the text... Where are we seeing the movie? Wow. And I, I couldn't believe it, Tam. I couldn't believe it. Here's my friend talking to me about this. And I haven't seen him or talked to him in so long. And it's coming together, maybe. Turns out he lives in San Jose. Oh, bummer. It's far away. I tell him I'm seeing it in L.A. We start talking a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to announce that he's going to fly out here on a plane. And we're going to see the movie on opening night together. Wow. Isn't that just so cute? That's incredible. Yes. What if he looks totally different than... A lot can, That's a lot true. can happen. That's true. You know, I hadn't even thought about that. Will you recognize him? Maybe I won't even recognize him. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, do you have... We only have one more minute in the middle ten. Do you have anything else to ask me? You have less than a minute. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. What does Star Wars mean to you? How does it mm. how does it fit into the grand scheme of your life? Um, I'm I'm thinking bigger things here, mm. like like a, starting a family, having mm. grandchildren, looking back on your mm. decades and s seeing what legacy you you left. Mm. People, these are the things that we need to think about, mm. and the things that we do every day. We need to spend. We need to make sure we can see it in that perspective. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, I'll elaborate mm -hmm. on the place of Star Wars and the legacy mm -hmm. of Van. Well, I have 14 seconds. All I'm going to say is that it's always been there for me, but it doesn't have to mean anything more than just being an escape. What do you mean escape? That's all I can say because we're done with the middle ten. Done with middle 10. Oh, that means that we're wrapping up. That means that we're wrapping up. Um, but first, 
we did need to say that this is a sandwich holiday. There's another holiday tomorrow, Thanksgiving. And Tam, do you have anything you would like to say to the fans in terms of being thankful? Yes, absolutely, fans. I got some good news because I got some big thanks to share tonight. Uh, one of the first thanks that I'm going to give is to motorcyclists. Motorcyclists on those big, dirty motorcycles that have a body on top that's covered in black leather. We're talking hogs, people. I'm thankful for hogs. And I'll tell you why. I was driving down PCH a couple days ago, and it hit me when I was looking at the hog in front of me. The guy had his hands pretty high up. A little bit of uh, back midriff showing, Perry, mm. between the leather vest and his, his jeans. Mm. And I said to myself, this guy's on a hog. I'm driving my, in my car. I am 25, and I have a small business, and uh, I'm, I'm making pillow talks. Yeah. I said, in addition to all that, I could see myself riding proudly mm. atop that hog. <sighs> I could see myself wearing that black leather vest, having a little bit of back midriff showing. I could see myself with, with my hands held up high, mm -hmm. like a baby on a tricycle. I could see myself riding that hog proudly. Mm. And I, I think that sums up the flexibility of what I think I can do and what's ahead of me. That's what I'm thankful for. That's what I'm thankful for. That was one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard. And the image that it put in my mind of you on a hog, being a hog guy, um, driving over a mountain highway, two-lane highway, uh, after the first spring rain, that smell in the air, um, listening to Credence Clearwater, and just, you don't even have a helmet in my vision, although we would appreciate it if all you remained safe. Um, your hair is just flowing in the wind, and you're so focused on the horizon uh, that nothing else matters. You know, as you say in one of your videos, sky's the limit. Sky is the limit. Um, and that brings me to um, introducing um, an, a, a section in the la in in, um, in the remaining time after the middle ten, mm -hmm. and that is um, when we test Van on some, mm. on some, on some rhyming uh, mm. topics. Um, so I say a word. Uh, this week the theme is Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. uh, that's part of our, our, our special holiday um, aspect. Mm -hmm. um, so for Thanksgiving, I'm going to think of some words that I think of when I think about Thanksgiving, and Van's mm -hmm. going to try and do some rhyming off of those words to start. So for the first word, I'm going to choose... A lot of pressure. <sighs> Stuffing. There once was a house in my heart that had nothing. And I came along on a stormy night with some stuffing. I said to the family, this is all I have for you. And the stuffing represented the golden truth. Very, very good. What an excellent first um, little rhyming. I have to say, I was very nervous, but I definitely hit that one out of the park. Yeah, you hit that one out of the park. Love it. Very, very poetic. And I'm gonna um, let's see another word here. Don't think yeah. too much, Tam. Don't think too mm. much. Keep it simple. Turkey. Mm. There are plenty of things that a turkey can do, but loving me is probably. The golden truth. Very good, but mm. I need another one from you because you already said truth earlier. Mm. We need something else. Well, we're and almost out of time. Uh, I guess we're out of time, so we have to go. Interesting. Saved by the bell. Okay, well, how much time do we have? Five seconds. Sleep well. <laughs> this has been such a treat for us, this and as always. As always, sleep, sleep well. well. Let's, let's keep it. Wait, hold on a second.